Joining me right now, Assistant Secretary for the Treasury for Public Affairs, Monica Crowley. And it is good to see you, Monica. Great to see you too, Trish. Thanks for having me. Lots to celebrate on the jobs front again. Yes, it's been quite an extraordinary week for President Trump, capped off by today's release of the January jobs report, another blowout jobs report, 225,000 jobs created la that last month. And as you know, Trish, January is usually something of a dead zone in terms of job yep. creation, but not under this president. He came in with a very profound economic freedom agenda mm -hmm. based on tax cuts, regulatory relief, trade reform, and unleashing American energy. And boy, are we seeing the results. Yeah, and yet, you know, um, John Harwood and Joe Scarborough and, and others in the media want to still say that this is about Obama. Let me share with you Paul Krugman's comment uh, in his New York Times piece. Uh, he's now saying, and I quote, let's be honest, the U.S. economy is running pretty hot these days. Growth in GDP and employment has been good, though not spectacular. The unemployment rate is near a historic low. This from the guy who actually said back in 2016 on election night, and I quote, it really does now look like President Donald J. Trump and markets are plunging. When might we expect them to recover? We are very probably looking at a global recession with no end in sight. So Paul Krugman having to eat crow on the economy, huh, Monica? <laughs> well, he predicted doom and gloom when President Trump was elected, and of course we've seen the exact opposite. President Trump has unleashed an era of unprecedented prosperity, and it's simply due to common sense pro-growth economic policies. You know, the previous administration, when people still seek to give credit to the previous administration for the kind of boom we're seeing now, mm -hmm. that is a political argument that is not an economic one. President Trump came in and said, you know what? instead of government power and control, we're going to give the power back to the American people by empowering the American worker. And yeah. he's done that through realigning international trade, giving the American people more of their own money back through tax cuts, regulatory relief, getting the government out of the way so that the American engine of growth and prosperity can be unleashed. And we're seeing yeah, it every know, look, day. It's not that hard, but you know, the, the Democrats sure didn't want to do it because it means, as you said, giving the power to the people people and they want the power in the government. Monica Crowley, always a pleasure. Thank you so much.